couple, baby. There's one here, too. Yeah! Woo! Look at this, baby! <laughs> what happened to the one on the spinner? Broke off. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take this one out on his mom now. You do it. Hold on a second. Do you want to give yourself a little? A Get a better little, bite. Like down closer. Down closer to the. Uh, yeah. No, dude. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, it's, it's on. Is it on now? It's on. It's on it right there, buddy. Right there. So, Tommy, what happened over there the other day when you got that hook? Uh, the other day, I was hooked up to two sharks. And uh, I tried handing one off to a friend of mine, and that got uh, that got wrapped, so that pole got broken. So I was fighting the other shark, and it was taking me straight out. It's what we call a sleigh ride, and uh, when some guy had crossed my line with his jig in. Now, if that ever happens, what he immediately should have done was he should have brought it to my attention, and he should have put it in free spool. But what he kept doing was he kept reeling and caused it to pop up over my kayak. And I grabbed it to keep it from going up over into my throat and it hooked me right here in the chin. As you can see, I got three stitches. That's buried into your bone too, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. You had to uh, cut it open here and push it back through, through the bottom. And it, you can see right here, this is the, the initial opening that they made. He tried to pull it back in, but it was lodged close to the bone. As deep as you can, it was scraping on the bone and it was in the muscle. So what he had to do was cut me again and push it back through because he couldn't take it out with the barb and pull it back out. And as you can see, put two stitches here and one here to close it up. Was he mad at you for fishing all day? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but he said, I'm gonna live. <laughs>